Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 1987 on a D, um, Land Rover 90, County Station Wagon, Factory V8, uh, six-seater, uh, with LPG. This one runs on petrol and LPG. Um, nice spec on this one, it's fitted with a matching set of uh, General Grabber 82, what size are they, 23585R16s on um, white eight-spoke wheels, although some of the white has come off. Um, checker plate on the wing tops and modesty covers and rear quarters. Uh, it's got a front bar on it with extra lights. It's got a steering guard and a front diff guard. As I say, inside it's a full six-seater with the, um, the four individual rear seats and cubby box. Uh, it's got twin LPG tanks which um, lie underneath the rear seats, so you don't lose uh, much, um, much space. Uh, rear step, tow pack with electrics. Rear mud flaps. That's about it. Right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. It was repainted from the original beige in 2001, according to the history, and the paintwork now is looking a little bit tired, um, with a lot of lacquer lift, especially on the bonnet and um, it's a little bit sort of uh, here and there, but mainly on the on the bonnet areas, um, and a lot of paint loss here and there. So, uh, but it was say painted 12 years ago, now showing its age. Um, around the front end. We say we've got a lot of lack. I'm not going to go over each individual bit of lack of loss, but there's quite a lot around there, there, uh, back of the bonnet, both sides uh, on the front light units and stuff. But that's all uh, pretty good apart from there. But in terms of dents and stuff, it's actually really rather good. Um, very, very straight down the sides. Near side front wing is excellent. Usual lack of loss there and around the back here. Um, scuttle corner and the vent flaps. They've lost a fair bit of their paint, the vent flaps. Um, that's the original colour up there, the beige. It is beige inside as well. Um, near side um, scuttle corner, just starting to go there by the hinge. Uh, just needs a little bit put in there if needs be. Uh, a post is all good from the outside. Passenger door, again, uh, lack of loss. Um, electrolytic reaction up here and right down the bottom of the door there as well. Um, it's the original type early door. It's actually an 86 model, this, so it's registered 87. It's got the lift up doors. Inside here, all of the uh, county trim seems to have survived intact with the exception of the carpets. They've been removed, both front carpets, tunnel carpet, and the rear one's been replaced with um, a rubber mat. But everything else is all in place and uh, reasonably good, actually. Seats are a little bit grubby, as you'd expect, but um, it's all in uh, quite good shape, really. Footwell on the passenger side has been repaired. All looks OK up there. Um, passenger door... Bottom frame is hold, but it's not too bad near the front corner there. And there's very little movement in the hinges. There is rust in the bottom of the frame, but it's not um, not terminal yet. Um, that's just some mud. We've just gone through a puddle. Uh, near side rear wing again. Some uh, quite a bit of lack of loss on the near side rear wing. Um, and up here, around the tail end, cross member all looks okay from here. It's actually quite nice underneath this one by the look of it. Um, the tailgate has suffered the usual electrolytic reaction all the way down here as they always do and around the latch. Inside here in the back there's your twin LPG tanks, one under there, one under there. So it's quite a nice installation actually because it doesn't um, impinge upon, uh, upon space too much. Um, tailgate, actually very good, yeah, very good tailgate on this one. Edge. Door card's a bit ragged, but uh, um, the, car, the, the the tailgate itself is actually pretty good. Still supports the spare wheel, certainly, uh, but the bottom frame's okay. Looking down the offside, again, very, very, very straight. Um, just uncannily so, in fairness. Fair bit of paint loss around there. Um, looking at the offside eyebrow looks like it's been been hand painted in the same color but it looks like some brush marks on the rest of it's actually properly sprayed um, again lack of loss up here around the tub top trims uh, fair bit of electricity reaction around the LPG fill around here it's mud again I hope it's mud <laughs> um, I need to wash that off uh, especially off my fingers um, the passenger door the driver's door we'll come back to that in a minute Driver's side scuttle corner is all very good indeed. Just bubbling up slightly there just above the hinge, but A-post all looks good. Offside front wing, 
again all looks pretty good. Driver's door really needs replacement, it's going quite badly right by the front hinge. It still closes fine, but it is, um, it is getting very weak around the, around the bottom hinge uh, in terms of the, uh, the, the door frame, so that needs to be done. Hello, that mirror's fallen off again, <coughs> I'll put that in there. Um, driver's foot well, again as you can see in there, all looks quite, uh, looks like it's been repaired. Yeah, it's had a section put in the corner. Um, not too bad. Driver's seat's good, that's all nice in there. Yeah, so just really the driver's door frame is, is poor. It's a lot of movement in the hinges, where the skin's flexing and stuff. That's about it. Um, there you have it, really. So it's a proper V8, one that runs on both petrol and LPG equally well, and runs really nicely, actually. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at cost. That's about it. And